Well, here we would like to talk about the property of a liquid called surface tension. To know something more about the surface tension, first we need to know something regarding molecular force and sphere of influence. So we'll start our business being the first uh, video of the sur on the surface tension. What do you mean by molecular force? What is its nature? And what is the sphere of influence? We will talk about that part of the lesson first, right? You know, solids or liquids or gases, whatever. These are the three different kinds of the major states that we see. Why someone is like a solid who is having a fixed shape? And why someone is loose like liquid? Why gas is occupying infinite volume? All these things can be explained based on a property called molecular force of attraction. These solids, liquids, gases, they all have molecules, right? These molecules have a kind of a force of attraction between them. So between one molecule and another molecule, there is a force of attraction, right? If the molecules are of similar nature between iron and iron molecule, we can say that's called something like a coercive force of attraction. If the molecules are of different nature, you are holding some iron metal, then the molecular force is between your skin molecules and the iron molecules. That kind of a force of attraction is called something like adhesive force of attraction. So, the quick thing that I would like to tell you again is molecules have a kind of force of attraction. If the molecules are of similar nature, you call it like a coercive force. If the molecules are of opposite nature, you call that as an adhesive force. So, in the case of liquids, you are talking about the property of a liquids. Molecules are loose. There is no that much of a strong force of attraction among the molecules. That's why liquids always acquire the shape of a container. In the case of that liquids, among the molecules of the, that liquid, there is a force of attraction. If you are talking about the same liquid molecules, the kind of a force is called coercive force. If you are talking about the different kinds of molecules, you call that force as a adhesive force of attraction, right? Surface tension is a property that is there on the surface of the liquids because of which we can see a kind of a tension or a kind of a force. What is it exactly? We will define it in the next video. We are just talking about a property on the surface of a liquid because of which there is a certain kind of a force. Tension is another way of saying the force. To explain that, we have a kind of a concept that we need to know, right? So, wherever there is one molecule, say this is one molecule, this molecule can attract the neighboring molecules towards it. But this molecule can attract the other molecule provided this other molecule is within certain distance from the first molecule. I mean to say this molecule can influence, attract the other molecules up to a certain limited range. This is like something like a district collector have a jurisdiction of that district. He can command over the things that has to be happen within that district. He cannot go and say that I'll give orders to the other districts. There is some other collector to do to deal that, right? So similarly, this molecule can attract the other molecules up to some distance. That distance up to where one molecule can influence the other molecules could be called something like a molecular range. So what do you mean by molecular range? The distance up to where one molecule can influence the surrounding molecules. It can attract the surrounding molecules. So imagine a molecule here, right? Just has a range, say up to this, this distance. This value is actually very small. This molecule's range is very close uh, to 10 power minus 9 uh, meters. In, 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 therefore, it's a very small value, but still imagine there is some value. Imagine this distance is that much. This parent molecule can attract the other molecules up to that distance. Not only in this direction, it can do it in every direction. So around that molecules, around the given molecule, it can influence all the surrounding molecules within the 
molecular range. So you treat this molecule, put this molecule at the center and these are all the molecules which can be influenced by it. Put them on the say three dimensional surface. This molecule can attract all these molecules towards it. So in the three dimension, you can get a kind of a sphere. That sphere is called the sphere of influence. So what do you mean by a sphere of influence? Simply a sphere drawn. It is a sphere drawn. How do you draw that sphere? Take the molecule as a center and take the molecular range. Let's remind you back what do you mean by molecular range? The distance up to where this molecule can influence the other molecules as radius. If you do that, if you consider molecule as a center and molecular range as a radius, and if you draw a sphere like this, this sphere is called something like sphere of influence. So to explain surface tension, we need to use the concepts of sphere of influence that can be explained based on a theory called molecular theory that I will explain in the next video. I don't want to make it too lengthy. So the, the conclusion of this video is molecules have a kind of force of attraction. That force of attraction is always attractive. If it is between the similar molecules called coercive force, if it is between the different molecules, that's called adhesive force. The distance up to where molecule can influence the other molecules is called molecular range. If you take molecule as a center and molecular range as a radius, you will get a sphere called sphere of influence. We will further explain how can we explain surface tension based on molecular theory using the concepts of sphere of influence. Thank you for watching.